whenever I find myself complaining about the small things, I say to myself, the following are all true stories. May 26, 2003, Aaron Ralston was hiking. A boulder fell on his right hand. He waited four days. Then he amputated his own arm with a pocket knife. On New Year's Eve, a woman was bungee jumping in Zimbabwe. The cord broke. She then fell into a river and had to swim back to land in crocodile-infested waters with a broken collarbone. Claire Champlin was smashed in the face by a five-pound watermelon being propelled by a slingshot. Matthew Brobus was hit by a javelin. David Striegel was punched in the mouth by a kangaroo. The most amazing part of these stories is when asked about the experience, I heard they all said, I guess things could have been worse. So go ahead, tell me that you're having a bad day. Tell me about the traffic. Tell me about your boss. Tell me about the job you've been trying to quit for the past four years. Tell me the morning is a townhouse burning to the ground. Tell me the snooze button is a fire extinguisher. Tell me the alarm clock stole the keys to your smile, drove it into 7 a.m. and the crash totaled your happiness. Tell me, tell me. Tell me, how blessed are we to have tragedy so small it can fit on the tips of our tongues? When Evan lost his legs, he was speechless. When my cousin was assaulted, she didn't speak for 48 hours. When my uncle was murdered, we had to find a search party to find my father's voice. Most people have no idea that tragedy and silence often have the exact same address. So when your day is a museum of disappointments, hanging from events that were outside of your control, when you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me, when it feels like a guardian angel putting this two-week notice two months ago and just decided not to tell you when it feels like God is a babysitter that's always on the phone when you get punched in the esophagus by a fistful of life. Remember that every year, two million people die of dehydration, so it doesn't matter if the glass is half full or half empty. There's water in the cup. Sometimes you just gotta drink it and stop complaining, you see. You see, muscle. Muscle is created by repeatedly lifting things that have been designed to weigh us down. So when your shoulders feel heavy, you got to stand up straight. You got to lift your chin. You got to call it exercise. Remember that life is a gym membership with a really complicated cancellation policy. Remember that you will survive. Remember things could be worse. Remember we are never given anything that we can't handle when the world crumbles around you. Sometimes you got to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember that you are still here. The human heart, it beats approximately 4,000 times per hour, and each pulse and, and each throb and, and each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. Woo. You, you are still alive. We are still alive. Let's act like it. Rudy Francisco, everybody. His new book, Helium, is in stores now. We'll be right back. That's a really exciting event, Uh-huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on and on and on. 